Education has been around for thousands of years and is the backbone of society. It is a tool that is so powerful that it can ignite the mind of the young and inspire them to become leaders and make an effective change in the world. Reform in this direction has the potential to inspire the young into becoming effective empathetic leaders that this world so desperately seeks. There used to be a point of time when we followed the transmittal method of teaching and learning where we had this feeling or we assumed that our students are like, students' brains are like an empty container and the professor needed to pour in information to try and get them to understand things. But today we're talking more about a constructivist theory of teaching and learning where we believe that knowledge is not packaged in textbooks, CDs or journals. Manipal University understands the need for this change and the need for new teaching methods. It is revamping the process of learning and contributing positively to education in the UAE. It's more about creating a process of self-discovery for our students these days in our classrooms where we encourage them to think for themselves. We expect them to just not solve but also pose complex problems. And more than anything, I think we're expecting them to produce knowledge rather than reproduce it. Uh, today, apart from just using outcome-based teaching and learning, we're also looking at blending theory along with application. And speaking about School of Business in specific, we're trying, in this particular quest, we're trying and making our education something that's just not application-based, but we're also trying to make it a whole lot of fun, edutainment as we call it in our modern day. Education is all about helping students create and flesh out new ideas. In other words, innovate. The Innovation Center at Manipal School of Engineering is a case in point. It allows students to work together on potential ideas which are translated into successful projects with the help of industry partners and professional societies. Uh, here at Manipal University, we have an in incubation center as well as an innovation center. In the incubation center, we will be uh, discussing our ideas with our faculty members. And these ideas are then, uh, under they, are, they have been undergone by a uh, rigorous selection process. And the selected uh, ideas are then uh, accepted by university. And these ideas will be funded uh, by our university. And the uh, projects which we can make, uh, we, in the innovation center, we can uh, combine our efforts with our mechanical, electronics, uh, electrical branches. Now inter it's, multi it's a multidisciplinary uh, uh, environment where you work with uh, other other students, and these the projects which we make are taken to the industry, where we can work more on them. Here in this lab, in 3D printing and robotics lab, we teach students the theory and ask them to make the mini projects and perfectly implement the latest technology into the projects. and we can see a lot of projects around us which are into the latest market and as per the industry requirement. This lab actually helps students to enhance their creativity and their practical skills in such a way that uh, they are actually able to implement the theoretical and the textual knowledge in an actual electronic and mechatronic environment. So that's like one of the most important parameters. The lab is actually helpful for us. Another important aspect of the learning process is research. With research comes independence. Students learn to delve into the depth of subjects and innovate with greater understanding and knowledge as they discover their own passions and motivations. Research is a part of life in School of Life Sciences. All the faculty are encouraged to take part in research. They conduct research in their area of interest. And in doing so, they involve students as well. So these students, they work with the faculty. With that, they develop uh, experience in uh, designing a project, working on the project, and then making a complete project and analysis, analyze the um, results obtained. So with that, they can publish research papers in international journals. The benefit of uh, doing research in Manipal University is that we get, you get to uh, apply what you actually study in the classroom in the real life scene. Research in biotechnology can help you uh, work in different industries in the field of life science, from the field of, uh, from the industry of food, uh, also to the field of medicine, uh, healthcare science also. So all these also, uh, the, that's the main benefit of biotechnology. 
the smart classroom is another step in the path to better education. It helps students think out of the box and infuses the process of learning with inspiration and creativity. There has been a clear shift from teaching facts to teaching concepts. Students need to be prepared for exams, but they need information for a more important reason, to innovate. Even traditional subjects like English language and literature are taught through innovative methods like visual exercises, interactive games, storyboarding and newspaper analysis. Our academic projects are based on the international field trips so that the students understand the social and the cultural aspects of various places. The student exchange programs with Manipal University India and various other universities make a program truly global. When I started the certificate course, I obviously in my head I thought not that it would be cruisy, but I thought it would obviously, you know, being a certificate course, there'd be sort of an, an easiness to it. Um, but I have been challenged and in a good way. Uh, the, the curriculum that they've given us, you know, in one year of the certificate in interior design course, I have become efficient in AutoCAD, um, Photoshop planning, um, and then obviously how to do that, the designs, the anthrop uh, anthropometry that's needed to design those, um, the history of interior design, uh, but all in a very intense uh, way, which I sort of, I guess, I didn't expect from a certificate course. So I've come away from a certificate course with actually probably a lot more experience than I actually um, had imagined. Education is an important tool for the future. If we truly believe that the youth has the responsibility of building a better future, it is up to us to facilitate this future by honing their character and imparting them with the skills they need. We also need to equip teachers with the most effective tools to build this future. The future and the youth have one thing in common. They need to be built brick by brick and education lays the foundation.